the International Olympic Committee, IOC, is waiting for the end of the anti-doping investigation against Camilo Valida in order to distribute the medals of the figure skating team tournament at the 2022 Games. In Beijing, the Russian team, together with Valida, won the gold of the team competition, but the award was not held due to the anti-doping investigation that had begun. Valida passed a positive doping test during the Russian Championship, which took place in December 2021. Since the case concerns a doping test that was taken outside the Olympic Games, but affected the results of the team and individual competitions, the IOC hopes that the case will be considered as soon as possible. This is in the interests of all parties involved, especially the athletes who have yet to receive their Beijing 2022 medals. Only the completion of the investigation of the case will allow the ISU to announce the final results of the team tournament and the IOC to decide on the distribution of medals the organization said. The champion of the 2018 Games, Megan Duhamel, is one of the most ardent opponents of Russia's return to the top tournaments. Having tied up with a sports career, she has not cooled down to figure skating and largely focuses on Russian affairs. She criticizes the decisions in the Voliva case and Voliva herself, the programs, appearance and skating of other skaters. But it was not always so. And now the Canadian is able to find a couple of flattering words about athletes from Russia. We figure out how she actually relates to the Russian team and what even the Terry Tubbards will agree with her. Megan Duhamel and her partner Eric Redford are among the most titled Canadian athletes, in pairs for sure. They broke into the world elite in the very first joint season, 2010-11, having received the silver of the championship of four continents. And in the next seven years, they won the World Championship twice, took the gold and silver of the Olympics in the team, and ended their careers with personal Olympic bronze. Although all this might not have happened. At the age of 25, Megan almost left the sport, but in the end she stayed in it until the age of 33. Until 2010, she skated with Craig Banton. A partner injured himself before the Vancouver Games, they lost the national selection, and Craig ended his performances. After that, Megan got paired with Redford. Together they not only won the most important titles, but also moved figure skating forward. The only ones at one time jumped a triple lutz and did a triple axle throw, the first landed a quadruple throw at the Olympics, and constantly experimented with looks. Duhamel and Redford have the richest set of performances to the rock compositions of Muse and Coldplay, Pop and Soul Adele, the classic air in Jewish concerto by Jacqueline Rodrigo, tracks from Burton's film Alice in Wonderland, and even the music of Redford himself. Moreover, the tribute written by Eric was taken for the 2013-14 Olympic season, contrary to the stereotype that the classics are better suited, and generally tacitly recommended, for the games. Now Duhamel is taking care of his family, writing a book and actively commenting on competitions not only on social networks, but also on Canadian TV. Duhamel has always promoted the idea that pair skating needs a fresh look and moves away from the standard arsenal. Many bands choose music of one genre. Well, it's great to hear the same songs over and over again, but sometimes it's too much. It would be great to see how skaters evolve and choose bolder, more dynamic tracks or more theatrical character-oriented tracks. How they use them to put on a show. In part, Terry Tubbard spoke about the same a couple of years ago. Pair skating is interesting. I think there is some kind of gap. I see that skaters from pair skating, unfortunately, do not jump well for some reason. Of course, they spend a lot of time on pair elements, but if they are properly supported, then they will jump better. And I don't always like programs. It seems to me that a little time has gone ahead, but some couples have remained. Duhamel is also concerned about gaps in technique, especially double throws and parallel jumps. She compared the performances of some duets at the stages of the Grand Prix 2022-23, without naming names, with the skating of the 90s. With such content, the Canadians Macintosh and Mimer, the Americans Chan Hu, the Germans Roscher Schuster and several other couples took medals. Megan has consistently advocated increasing the difficulty and increasing the cost of quads. She counters the arguments of ISO leaders about healthcare with one argument. There are no studies proving the connection of injuries with the performance of Alter C, it all depends on preparation. Big Sport is not a health group. Megan agrees with Bikova and Kozlovsky on this. 
I saw these interviews, and I hope that when the Misfina team returns to international competitions, they will bring dynamic movements, serious triple jumps, quadruple jumps and other difficult elements. This interview with FS Gossip was published in November 2022. Duhamel generally loves Russian couples and watches them carefully. She praised Pavlichenko and Kotokin for the 2021-22 short program with acrobatic elements. This is a style close to her. In December 2021, she called Miss Hina and Galyamov her favorite duet, highlighting the special energy and unusual choreography. And yet, in the Olympic season, Megan rooted for Evgenia Tarasova and Vladimir Morozov, but warned that they would need stability to win in Beijing. If I bet money, I would choose a pair of Tamara Mispina. I wonder if she did or not. Tarasova and Morozov missed the title by less than a point, but they were ahead of both pairs of Mispina. Duhamel is also following the Russian single skaters. Her main love is Tatama Shiva. The attitude of the Canadian towards Lisa did not change after the removal of the national team. I definitely don't want to follow the Russian championship, but I have mad respect for Tatama Shiva. Still performing, doing his own thing and kicking ass. Year after year. A long happy career is the measure of success in sports for Duhamel. She talked about this back in 2018, when Evgenia Medvedeva left Tubbirds for Orser. I see her training and I can tell that she looks like a completely happy person, even after a whole day of training. In my opinion, this is much more important than gold medals. Then Megan even defended Medvedev from the attacks of the fans, he demanded instant results after the transition. A year ago, Camilo Valiva and Alexander Tusova received praise from the Canadian for their love of risk and complex programs. But after the doping case, the statements about the Tubbirds group changed dramatically. Now Megan finds hints of doping even in Tubbirds' old lines. Of course, the Canadian woman remembered a Cherry's interview with Vladimir Posner in 2019, there the coach touched on new methods of recovery after the ban on Moldonian. I sue, do you see these facts? Attached videos in quotes. Is that okay? Megan asked. Megan calls the Terry's words about the principles of fair play ridiculous, and blames the coach for the fact that the winners of the team standings of the 2022 games have not yet been awarded medals in Beijing. Separately, Kristalny went for a new arbitrary Valiva with a HUD. After test skates in September, Duhamel shared a recording of one of the fans with the words. Team Tut is really fucking shameless. Camila's new program begins with a snippet of news about her doping case. They did it to her. It was because of them. Why are they making her experience something so traumatic every day? Ban all Team Tut immediately. But most often, Megan reposts the words of Tubbirds' as students about their diet. Duhamel is a nutritionist by training, and is writing a book about healthy eating behavior in athletes. Food is your strength it's better to be healthy and happy she says, and lashes out at anyone who is starving for weight loss or ease in training. She already called for help to Lena Kostanaya, argued with Adelia Petrosin, and also with Alexandra Bikova and Alexander Zhulin, who advised American Caitlin Howey to lose weight. Megan called Anna Shurbakova too fragile and painful, and during the 2021 World Cup, suggested that she was under pressure from coaches. For these words she had to explain. The skater and her team openly said that this season she was sick several times. It is a fact. Despite compliments on Russian skaters and admiration for Misfina's students, Duhamel is against the return of Russia as a whole. Her position is to wait after the end of the conflict in Ukraine, and only after that discuss the invitation of the Russians. Until then, no return even under a neutral flag. Duhamel is arguably the most controversial figure skating speaker in recent memory. And not only Russian athletes get it from her. A year ago, at the World Championships, ISA commentators even called her a bitch, hinting at a complex character and odiousness. And yet, in her social networks, she not only grumbles and attacks, but also promotes several important ideas. The increase in the cost of Ultra C, the revolution in pair skating, the refinement of the ghost scale, longevity in sports. Some of them are also fought for in Russia.